All right, guys, welcome back to the farm. Today is Saturday, doing a little burning. Got some uh, old hay burning off down here in the field. And uh, it's cold. Down here in Georgia this morning, it was 17 uh, earlier. I think it's warmed up almost to freezing. I don't know if I trust this thermometer, but it's showing about 20. Five. I don't believe it's that cold, but I believe it is uh, around 30. Thought I'd do a cold start and they'd put out some hay. I don't have any damn hope this thing crank. But I am going to try the uh, the uh, the pre preheater. I had never. I didn't know about the. Well, I knew they had a preheater on these. Ford New Holland tractors, but I didn't know how they worked until recently. I seen it on YouTube. So apparently, you turn the key on, and then you turn it just a little bit further to the lights go out, and that activates the the heater switch that's in the intake manifold. And uh, I don't really hear nothing, but. I don't know how long he's supposed to hold this damn thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how, if this thing's even getting warm. Bring it down. Watch where we step. There's cat poo poo everywhere. If I can get some light on the subject here. So the heater mechanism is somewhere in this area of the intake manifold, the metal part here. I just don't really believe that, that thing's working. Let's see what it'll do. you'd look at how this thing is rusting. I believe cats are spreading their piss up on this area here and around this exhaust and it is just rusting the crap out of it. This is basically the same motor, maybe a little smaller displacement than that 3930 74 model. It's got the same heating element type deal in it. I don't think this battery is going to be strong enough in this one to, uh, to do anything for us. This battery is probably ready to be replaced. It's, uh, it's coming on two, two and a half, three years old. But we'll try it and see. Don't believe this one's gonna have no oomph in it. May not even work.
Yep, too cold for the old 3000 weak battery. Just ain't gonna get it, but at least we can get some hay put out. I got to get this thing moved to a fork where I can uh, move this bale in here that got damaged, cows got in here. See if I can show you. Cows got in here and damaged, I got the wall tore down and damaged a bunch of hay in here. So I'm going to have to have the forks to pick this one bell up where I can get the rest of these out. And I got to rebuild my wall. You notice I had to put a support beam in. Uh, the blocks deteriorated, fell off, and uh, I really need to put two more in. I need to move, I need to put one on each side of that one and take that one out. It's, it's not really straight like it need to be. Let's see if we can get a better view. See, maybe we got two bales here that's just this one they about eat up, and then that one they messed over. And the rest of them look in pretty good shape, but oh, this is not the one I'm thinking about. This one's okay, it's this one down here. If you can see, the, the post is not straight, it actually sticks in uh, a foot inside the building here. So, I got to redo that one for sure. And I would like to put another post up under this support just because it's a lot of weight on it. You can see there's a lot of weight on it. This thing's sagging already. But it was a lot worse before we put these posts in. The whole the whole wall of the barn's about to kick out. The blocks is about shot. And uh, they, my granddad didn't put a whole lot of post in he only he put a lot of block laid block with a with a seal plate and then run studs through most of the side of this barn only on the ends did he put you know power poles in so uh when the walls give out then you got to do something about it i think he done replaced put a post here but you can see it's not really you know it's, it's helping a little bit but it ain't got no weight on it the three nails just ain't really holding no weight but uh gotta do a lot of work in here this before i get hay put back in here i want to get these walls stabilized so we don't lose half this barn but anyway guys thanks for watching we'll get some hay put out we'll just use this side over here and i got some more i got some more hay to burn up out there in the field that's uh, piled up i don't really like this hay too much i don't really know why i mean it looks good to me but some cows like it some cows don't usually what i do i stick my hand in there as deep as i can and grab some up and smell of it it does smell a little bit moldy but uh not bad i smell a lot worse Uh, looking at the type of hay, it looks like, uh, I thought this was ryegrass, and it may be ryegrass, but it's a lot, a lot of stems in it. Uh, I think, uh, well, yeah, I know I, I, I first cut that ryegrass I rolled. I'm pretty sure I put it in here. And uh, well, that looks like ryegrass right there. For sure, most of this is ryegrass. So. Uh, two row planters, Covington planters in here. I wish I had a, a place to put them where it wouldn't get damaged with this hay. Uh, Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll get on over 3930 and get some hay put out and uh, catch you later. Maybe, uh, hopefully, if I can get this 3,000 crank, 
we'll be able to get this uh, truck moved on the gantry and start tearing it down today, hopefully sometime. I'm gonna have to wait for it to warm up. I don't have an extension cord long enough, I don't think, to reach all the way back here to hook my charger up, but I may have to find something that'll work. But, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and hand.